so you wanna be the king of games. But your matches all end the same. I've got just what you need. Feel free to SMD. Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, back with another episode of SMD, the quick and dirty way for filthy net deckers to no skill their way up the master duel ladder. Today we're taking a look at Mutant. But first, this video is sponsored by Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Deck. Looking for a place that anyone can upload Master Duel deck lists and get feedback from the community? Want to give opening Master Packs a try without spending real money? Want to know the gem cost of a deck before you commit to it? Then go to www.ygoprodeck.com. Now let's mess with Mutant. Mutant is an archetype of psychic type monsters that contribute themselves and banish a card from your hand to summon a boss from the main deck that corresponds to the type of card that you banished. It's a neat little control strategy that's about to get pretty good in the TCG because of a card that's being released in Battles of Chaos. So it might seem weird to take a look at this for Master Duel, where that set doesn't exist, but like most of the SMD decks, a couple of unique quirks make it a lot more playable here than in paper. Firstly, the deck is cheap. Uh, I know you're probably looking at the 23 URs spread between the main and extra deck here and doing the rock eyebrow face. But most of those URs are staple hand traps and extra deck monsters. Outside of a few exceptions, you don't really ever go into the extra deck at all. If you want to forego generic staples, you can build this deck's core for the cost of a Synthesis, an Ultimus, and a Colossus. Three URs total. Second, as part of its setup combo, this deck banishes monsters from its hand. This makes it one of the most adept decks in the game at using Nemesis Corridor, a Thunder Monster which represents a one-card Thunder Dragon Colossus. So with that, let's get into the card by card. First, we have three Maxi, followed by three copies of Mutant M05. The M stands for monster, because on normal or special summon, you get to add a mutant monster from your deck to your hand, except M05. All the little guys have this effect. You contribute this card, then banish a card from your hand or face up field, including spent continuous traps, to special summon a monster from your hand or deck based on the super type of the banished card. For monster, you get Mutant Beast, which is a spell negator. For spell, you get Mutant Mist, which is ass. And for Trap, you get Mutant Arsenal, which is a monster banisher. After that, we've got three copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring and three copies of ST46, ST standing for Spell Trap, because on Normal or Special, it searches a spell or a trap card. After that, we've got three Nemesis Corridor. The summoning condition on Thunder Dragon Colossus is you need to have activated the hand effect of a Thunder Monster, and you need to tribute a Thunder Monster on your field. Nemesis Corridor activates an effect to summon himself from hand, so he is both halves of Colossus. After that, we've got the bosses, two Beast and one Arsenal. I could not find room for Mist, and I would not recommend you do so. We're playing three Pot of Prosperity and one copy of Mutant Fusion. Realistically, we could go up on this card. It fusions a Mutant Fusion monster from your extra deck uh, by banishing Fusion materials listed on it from your hand or field, which is terrible, unless your opponent has activated a card or effect this turn, in which case you can use monsters from your deck and graveyard as Fusion material as well. After that is Mutant Evolution Lab. This is very high roll, really good in hands where you already open with your good starters, but I don't think scenarios in which you're already winning need to be planned for because this deck is often on the back foot. I think that the ST46 being able to search this is good enough to include it at one, but until we get the new support, I probably wouldn't bump up to three. We've got two Emergency Teleport, obviously a huge deal that they have three in the TCG, two Called by the Grave, Triple Infinite Impermanence, Triple Cry, which during the main phase can fusion summon a mutant fusion monster by shuffling fusion materials on it into the deck from your cards on the field, in your graveyard, or your Face up banished card. This is a great way to use spent mutants to make really powerful bosses. Three copies of Solemn Judgment, one copy of Imperial Order, and three copies of Mutant Expansion, which when activated can take a level four or lower mutant from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it. You can banish it from your graveyard if one of your fusions would be destroyed instead, but that doesn't really happen often. In the extra, we've just got a lot of stuff we're not going to summon. Elder Entity and Tiss, uh, Almirage, the Nightmare is Mascarena, Verte Anaconda and Cross Sheep maybe have some sort of synergy in this fusion deck. We've got Unicorn, Access Code, and Underworld Goddess of the Closed World in case anyone tries to get some crooked cook shenanigans on us, but really the important stuff here is Mutant Synthesis, which can be made with two mutants with different attributes, and if it's fusion summoned, targets a card on the field and destroys it. It's also immune to a certain super type of card effects, provided your opponent has activated one of those effects earlier in 
the turn and you've chained its effect. And Mutant Ultimus, which can only be made with huge mutant monsters, but can banish a mutant card from your hand, graveyard, or face up field to negate the same super type of an activated card your opponent controls and banish it. If this is destroyed by an opponent's card, you can add three banished mutant cards to your hand, which means you are way, way, way ahead on advantage. Really sick end boss, but very difficult to make. And finally, Thunder Dragon Colossus. This is what you're making off of Nemesis Corridor, and of course, it prevents your opponent from adding cards from the main deck to the hand. Pretty good. So with that, let's see it in action. Our match is up against ABC, and ABC in Master Duel is a little bit of an undertaking. You only have one copy of ABC Buster Dragon, so you gotta make it count. We're going second, and we've opened fantastically. Our opponent's going to begin with a Pot of Prosperity, finding off the top, well, realistically, the only card they really care about is that Union Hanger, so they're gonna go ahead and take that, activate the Union Hanger, and get themselves a copy of B from deck. Now, unfortunately, they've drawn the Union Driver, so this is where their turn ends, but notably, we have the Maxi, and would prefer if they kept going. They'll set a Torrential Tribute, and pass to us, and we should be able to pop off from here. We draw for turn, it's a second Nemesis Corridor. We're going to begin with a copy of ST46 and activate the effect. That'll fetch an Ash from our opponent, preventing us from getting off to the races, but unfortunately, the more important effect of ST46 is the one we are about to activate. We'll tribute it and banish a copy of M05 from our deck in order to get a Mutant Beast. Our opponent will Torrential here, which only pops their back row, but we still get to pop off a little by summoning a Nemesis Corridor here. Now we can send that Nemesis Corridor to the graveyard to make a Thunder Dragon Colossus, and because our opponent has activated an effect this turn, we can activate Mutant Fusion in order to Fusion summon a copy of Mutant Synthesis. This gets even better when you realize the B that we can pop on our opponent's side of the field by going to combat is not going to be able to search anything because of the Thunder Dragon. We'll proceed to the battle phase and walk over the B with the Colossus before getting in direct with Synthesis. Our opponent's hand isn't looking fantastic. Let's see what they find off the top. And yes, a second Union Hanger is unfortunately not going to do it. They'll activate it, activate Ash Blossom on their own card, and concede. So that's that, a cheap and interesting deck with more than the legs necessary to make it into Platinum. Notably, if you play this build in particular, every cent you spend on upgrading it will be easily transferable to other decks. The Maxis, the Ash Blossoms, the Called by the Graves, the Solemn Judgments, the Imperial Order, and even the extra deck monsters like Nightmare Unicorn and Access Code Talker will have a home in almost any deck you build in Master Duel. It's a great starting point for new players that upgrades slowly to a ton of other strategies over time. Until then, see you next time. Okay, cannot be special summoned except with the effect of a mutant card, can't be targeted by spell effects. When your opponent activates a trap card or effect, you can banish a card from your hand or field to draw to. I can't play this garbage.